All right, this is the uh, final part of the Octopus Lamp video series. Uh, we've got the DXF exported from Fusion 360, laid out nice and long. It's too big for my laser though. So what this video is gonna be is I'm gonna take that DXF into Illustrator. I'm gonna rip it into pieces that should fit on a letter size sheet of paper uh, so that I have different templates. I'm going to create the files for the engraving and then I'm gonna show you how I fixture it so that I can engrave both sides without having to re-zero my machine or line up anything complicated. Let's get started. The first thing that I want to do is just to break this up into pieces that fit on a letter sized sheet of paper. Um, ideally, this is gonna be something that will fit in my laser machine, but also I wanna be able to distribute the file for people who don't have laser cutters so that they can just print it out and uh, manually cut it with something else. So I start by uh, breaking it into different layers with the parts that fit, and I just move stuff around. I'm not super familiar with Illustrator, so this took a little bit of trial and error. But in the end, I ended up with the basic layout that I wanted. Notice that everything is pretty much mirrored here. You know, for every tentacle, you've got a, an opposite tentacle, uh, an equal, equal and opposite tentacle. And that is, uh, well, you'll see it in action in a few minutes. I'm not familiar with Illustrator, so this part took me a little bit of time. And this is arguably one of the simplest tasks you can possibly do. I wanted to just start drawing some simple oval shapes to be suckers uh, engraved on the tentacles. And it takes me a little while to figure out the tools here. I'm thinking uh, Inkscape, I probably could have done it really fast, but I'm trying to learn Illustrator here. I just draw out an oval, fill it in with the color I want. I couldn't figure out how to uh, cut a hole in it, so I ended up just creating another oval and coloring it white. I chose green because I thought that the layer color didn't matter, but the software I'm using is actually looking for certain colors, black for engrave, red for cut, so I ended up changing those colors later. But after this, uh, you know, after I got this single sucker created, I grouped the two pieces together and then the rest of what you're gonna see is just me copying and pasting and resizing this same sucker in different places. Uh, on the different tentacles. My plan is to create a fixture so that I can engrave one side, cut it out, take it out, flip it over, and engrave the other side without having to re-index. I can basically just run the file again without the cut. Now this is a failed uh, test from earlier, and you can see we have mirrored versions. So in theory, I've got all this set up so that it won't wiggle, it won't move. In theory, I should be able to Stick this in there, run my engrave, and then my cut, my cut, well, maybe I'll, I'll tape it down, run my engrave and my cut, should take that much space, should fit just fine, and then I should be able to pick out just the tentacles, flip them over, and run the engrave again. Let's test it out and let's see if it works.
these all fit perfectly except for where this one had a, a knot in the wood um, so the idea is completely sound you cut a mirror image you flop it over you've got your fixture and then you can engrave the other side so let's do that So there it is, it worked beautifully. There are a few lessons and takeaways though. Uh, first of all, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing yet. You gotta watch the make video for the final reveal of the entire lamp together. But here's what I learned from this, several things. I need to adjust my engraving settings because they're so faint right now, you can barely see it. And what's the point of having the engraving if you can't even see them? So I need to make those darker. If, uh, if, if I wasn't gonna make those darker, I might as well just skip them all together and make the job go faster. Uh, the, the next lesson is the bed of the laser. I need to make a proper bed uh, with a material, like a grid of, of you know, open material. As is right now, I've got that solid sheet of wood under it, which is bad. I'm sure those of you that have lasers were cringing hard, or you've probably even already made a comment down below about how bad that was. It's bad. You shouldn't use a solid layer of wood under the stuff you're cutting. Uh, it does several things. It's kind of a fire hazard, but also it, it leaves a nasty residue on the underside of your material when you finally cut all the way through. So I need, need, need to fix the bed of my printer to be a little or my, my laser cutter to be a little better. But aside from that, this project is good to go. It's done. We've gone through the entire design and uh, troubleshooting and everything, and we are ready to make a final video for Make. So keep your eyes peeled, and we'll have the final reveal of the whole thing, as well as giving away all the files for free.